welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Devin Haney is moving like a fraud. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Devin the Dream Haney, you know, this guy's been making suspect moves lately in boxing. He's been strategically selecting his opponent. Let's take a look at how Devin Haney's been moving like a fraud. Devin Haney gets a robbery decision victory over Vasil Lomachenko. It was the robbery of the year, extremely controversial. And the judges were not neutral. They were all American. He was fighting in Las Vegas. It was unfair to Vasil Lomachenko. Lomachenko needed neutral judges. There was no Ukrainian. There was no international. They were all American. He did not get a fair shot at Undisputed. And what does Devin Haney do? He refused to rematch Vasil Lomachenko. He said he was willing to fight Tank right then and there at the same weight. But when it came to Loma, he refused to rematch him. That's an absolute duck, and he's moving like a fraud and a coward. But that's who Devin Haney is. He's strategic. Think about this. Sir Keir Stevenson, tired of getting fake offers from Devin Haney. What does he do? He asked the WBC, hey, make me the mandatory for this guy so I can get a fair split. They make him the mandatory. What does Devin Haney do? He said, nope, I'm moving up to fight an unskilled fighter in Regis Progray. Completely ducks his mandatory in Shakur Stevenson. This is what Devin Haney does. He doesn't want to fight skilled fighters. He want to fight guys like Regis Progray, who's declined, who's coming off of a horrible performance against a guy like Zorilla. That's what he wants. He wants low-skilled, declined fighters who are not showing that they're excellent or having high IQ or physically at their peak. This is what Devin Haney's doing. I mean, think about it. You just saw his dad at the Conor Ben fight saying, we want that fight. That's what he did. And this is Conor Ben who looks like he's lost his pop. He's very unskilled. And he looks like he's very reckless in the ring. That's an easy fight for almost anybody. And you're talking about that's the fight you want. He's being strategic. You remember when they mentioned Devin Haney versus Boots. Bill Haney brushed that off. Now, we, we don't want no Boots fight. We don't want no Boots fight. You see, they're not keeping the same energy. You see, right now, recently, Devin Haney's been acting like he wants that Ryan Garcia fight. That's the fight we need to make. That's the fight that needs to happen. Ryan Garcia is one-dimensional, has no IQ. The man quit in his last fight. He's absolutely garbage. There's nothing you gain by fighting Ryan Garcia. Instead of going after Tia Fimo, the king at 140, you want to fight Ryan Garcia? And basically a cherry pick. There's no reason for Devin Haney to fight Ryan Garcia. There's no demand for it. No one wants it. Ryan Garcia needs to be improving his craft. But you know what? He's rejected multiple opportunities to negotiate and make a fight with Tiafimo. The man has ducked Tiafimo on at least three different occasions. And what's funny is Devin Haney stated out of his own mouth. He don't want to be undisputed at 140. Why? Because there's no George Cambosis at 140 pounds.